All right, I found out uh, last night that this uh, brush is still too big. Uh, the gentleman that uh, is giving me the information is going to send me a picture. He uh, had it last night, but then he misplaced it, and he's looking for it again. It's a, I think it's a picture of somebody actually holding one of these things, so I'll have a better idea of what they look like. I'm trying to interpret what this looks like from a, a uh, bunch of photographs, and it's going to be a lot easier to interpret it from an actual photograph of somebody holding one. All right, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, today I'm just going to be working on the robe and try to get it soft looking. Give it some texture. I'm not worried about the fan right now, or the uh, brush right now. I'm worried about it when I get ready to take it to the foundry and have it cast. But right now I just figure, you know, I'll show the foundry what it looks like right now, and then we'll go from there later on. My clay isn't quite soft enough yet. I had to cut up a whole bunch of new clay because I ran out of clay yesterday. So I'm dealing with clay that's not quite soft -y yet. I get my clay from Sculpture Depot in uh, Loveland, Colorado. It's uh, it's a good place to get everything you need sculpture-wise. They carry everything a sculptor ever needs, no matter what kind of sculpting you do. And. Uh, They have everything in their supply room for you. All right, I'm building this leg up here underneath the blanket, and I'm trying to show that she's a brought her leg and foot back this way and I'm just building up the foot as well as the uh, leg. All right, I'm going to take a piece of clay that I ran through my pasta machine and I'm going to put it over her foot and then back it up over like this.
Okay, I'm going to use my bigger tool now. My bigger wire tool. Because I need to move and smooth out large areas of clay. Okay, this is going to be the last I do on this because I've got nothing else I can do until I get uh, more information about the brush. And uh, quite honestly, I've taken it about as far as I can take it before I have it cast in bronze, which I do not have an order for. And I've got to wait. The uh, piece that I'm taking to the foundry on next week sometime sat on my shelf for three years before I actually sold one. So this could sit on the shelf for quite a while. Now it won't sit forever. It will eventually start cracking. Because uh, the oils evaporate over the years. I've got pieces that I can still work on that I've had sitting for 10 years. So it takes quite a while for it to go bad. Okay, that's going to be it for this week. I won't be here tomorrow. And uh, I don't know if I'll be back down here this next coming week or not. I've got to take photographs of these pieces and uh, I'm really happy the way this has turned out this one here it started out as a bust and uh, not a very good bust either it was one that uh, I wasn't really satisfied with but uh, this turned out nice it's got a story now the other one didn't have a story. This one has a femininity that uh, is really nice. A relaxed, contemplative clay. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend and a great week next week. I will definitely uh, video our trip over to the uh, foundry next week, whenever day that's going to be. We're, we're kind of under the gun as far as snow goes. But uh, I understand the pass is clear, but the uh, gentleman that's going to go with me is down sick with a cold. So we're not going to go anywhere until he gets better. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.